Deer season is months away, but chronic wasting disease is a year round concern, especially here in the mid state. Now some canines are using a powerful tool to find the deadly disease. These hunting dogs aren't looking for prey. They're sniffing out what prey leave behind through a new pilot program. So right now we're training these dogs to detect chronic wasting disease in deer feces. We're in the kind of research phase. The WE is the Wildlife Features Program, which collaborates with Penn Vet Working Dog Center. And we provide surveillance, diagnostics, and research for organizations like the Pennsylvania Game Commission. Brenna Bobby is the CWD detection dog supervisor based in the Mid-State, the handler for Lab Vera and German short hair pointer Yuki, who love their jobs, finding the scent, and getting paid with play. When we're training these dogs, obviously we wouldn't want to introduce chronic wasting disease into the environment. Um, so what we've done is we are working the odor of chronic wasting disease on what we call an alternate training aid. Dr. Cynthia Otto is the director of the Penn Vet Working Dog Center, where the canines are trained. Initially, we saw a paper that was published, and in that paper it described uh, the chemistry of the smell of deer poop. Using a wheel, feces from deer, both with and without the disease, is secured into compartments, allowing the dogs to learn how to sniff out infected samples. We've been pretty excited about the fact that we can still train these dogs on captured odor as opposed to directly on the feces because that's a huge safety issue. And a big help to program partner, the PA Game Commission, since chronic wasting disease is prevalent in PA, especially in the mid-state, ground zero for CWD in Pennsylvania. The Game Commission says one out of three adult deer harvested here test positive for the disease. If we're able to incorporate these CWD detection dogs into our surveillance program, it will really help us understand to what extent CWD is in an area or potentially help us pick it up faster in a new area or just teach us where it is on the landscape that we may not be getting a lot of samples. The next step for us uh, is to look at the amount of, of sample that we need because it's really hard to collect these samples, believe it or not. And so when we train, if we train on a very small sample, is that adequate? Or do we actually need to train on a sample that's more like what they might come across in the field? The Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture is also supporting this research project.